Hi friends, my name is Bhavya Mangla. I'm IATF qualified author doing audit for the automotive sector for the last 19 years. I'm again back with a very, very interesting topic. And today I'm going to talk about the key difference between trade-off curve and opportunity cost. And by the time this video will end, you'll understand what exactly is trade-off curve, what exactly is the meaning of opportunity cost, why they are important for any organization, what exactly is our correlation between value and function, and why. Both are important for all of us. Well, in our day to day life, we are always doing some trade off. For example, you want to fly from New Delhi to London. Now, there can be many options. Maybe the basic option is that, well, the flight cost is A and flight cost is B. If A is less, I will go for that. But actually, it is not that. Apart from the flight cost, we also look into that, what is the time at which the flight is going? Then there is another factor that, oh, from this particular airline, I have got some miles. So I have to use those miles. So I have to use only this particular airline and not the other airline. Then maybe some there is some safety issue which may have happened with the particular airline. So that also becomes a feature of that. Then another could be that what time we are landing there, because there could be a possibility that if we are landing early in the morning, then we can go straight to the work. But if we are going a bit, maybe a bit early, maybe 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock, so it means we have to go to the hotel, so that will be additional expense. So all these factors are there and sometimes it becomes very complex. But then we do all the trade-off and then we decide that which airline we need to choose. Something similar happened in the industry also, wherein we are talking about trade-off and the opportunity cost. When we talk about trade-off, primarily the intent is that there are different parameters, maybe with respect to the design process. And then we have to choose that if there is a temperature and there is a pressure, how much temperature should be kept and how much pressure should we get so that we can get the right value or the optimum value wherein we get the maximum productivity. So that's a trade-off that we generally do. So for example, let's take an example that there is a diameter and there's a wall thickness of a pipe, which is a design decision for the fluid pressure and the velocity, which is the customer requirement. Now, in both the cases, we need to see that how we should have the thickness and with respect to the pressure so that we can get the desired velocity, which is the ultimate requirement of the customer. So there is a trade-off between these two things. And then we can see that what is right and what is wrong. Well, Michael Porter has said a very interesting thing. He said that the sign of a good strategy is that it makes some customers unhappy. Now, let me talk another definition that what exactly is the meaning of opportunity cost. So, when we talk about opportunity cost, primarily it is a potential benefit that an individual, investor, or a business misses out while choosing one alternative over another. So, when we talk about trade off curve, primarily we are talking about two alternatives, this or that. But when we talk about opportunity cost, now we are talking about where I'm going to lose and where I'm going to gain and then I'm taking a decision with respect to that. Let's take an example of electric vehicle. Now we know that in electric vehicle, the weight of the battery is very high. Now when the weight is very high, in comparison to the IC engine, there is a high possibility that the average or the output that whatever is the consumption that we are doing, it will be less. And then there can be a lot of wear and tear on many other parts, including the tires. So now we have to make compromise. So we have to reduce the weight of many other components. It can be sheet metal components, plastic components, maybe lights or maybe steering or maybe many other things. One another interesting thing happens in electric vehicle when you're talking about trade-off is that as there is no noise in a battery, so the voice or the noise with respect to the tire becomes very high because earlier in IC engine, it was getting covered. Now, the tires have to be designed in such a way that there is minimum noise. Otherwise, that will create a problem for the user as well as for the people around because they will hear a lot of noise about that. So it's very important thing to understand. Then it brings a very important question that why exactly we are talking about trade-off curve and opportunity cost? Well, there is a very, very interesting quote which has been given by Kenny Rogers. And he said that there is a trade-off. As you grow older, you gain wisdom, but you lose spontaneity. So Michael Porter has said three key things that why exactly the requirement of trade-off is there. 
the first and the foremost is that product features may be incompatible and that's why we need to see that maybe one set of needs may be performing poorly for the another set of things. So, for example, there are luxury brands like Mercedes, Louis Vuitton and Rolex. Now, they cannot reduce the cost for the mass consumption as it will destroy their brand image and value because that is their strength. The second is there is a trade-off in the activities themselves. Maybe in other words, we can put that the configuration of activities that best delivers one kind of value cannot be equally delivered by another. Let's take the example of Amazon. Now, they are masters globally with respect to anything which anybody wants to purchase. But then now in case they start selling the cars, maybe they have to set a different kind of value proposition because if they start doing the same practices, what they are doing it for the other components, then it may not be acceptable to the consumer. And the third very important thing which Michael Porter said is that there is an inconsistency in the image or reputation. So, for example, we all know that Facebook is very popular for common and for fun, information sharing and finding old in old friends and all those things. But in case Facebook thinks that now they want to compete with LinkedIn, well, it will spoil the entire market because it will be very difficult to do that. Well, that brings another important thing that what exactly is the relationship between value, cost and function? Because end of the day, when we talk about trade off curve and opportunity cost, these are very, very important terminologies because whatever value we are getting, it's also important to see that what function it is also coming with that because unless and until there is a balance between two, there is always a possibility that the end consumer will be a loser or maybe the producer will cost the things very, very high. So, for example, if you see the graph, you will find that it is very clearly specified that on the left hand side, it is low cost and the low volume. If you go up, it is high cost and low volume, low value. Then on the right hand side, it is high cost and high value. But if you see the pink color, it is low cost and high value. So that is the most appropriate thing that any organization has to choose because there you are having a low cost, but you are being able to go the high value. Let's see another interesting graph. So here it's a graph between cost and the quality level. So, if you see, if it is a low quality, then medium quality, then high quality. Till that time, if you see the cost is broadly okay. But as we are increasing the high quality, as we are going from high quality to very high quality, the cost increases two to three times. So, we have to see the optimal point, which is the right trade-off for us. And if we do it in that way, we can ensure that we are giving the right value. Now, let's take another example with respect to the opportunity cost. Now, it's a very common example. Let's assume that now you have got $5,000. Now, you have two options at that time. One is you can go on vacation and enjoy. Second is that you have a credit card for which you have to make the payment. What needs to be done? One very simple thing is you can go on vacation. The second thing is rather than going on vacation, you can think about paying of the credit card, which is the $5,000. Now, the opportunity cost is not only $5,000. Because if you are not paying the credit card fees, there is another penalty which is there with respect to the interest that is approximately around $1,000. So if you in look, include the total is more than $6,000 that you are spending with respect to that. Now to talk about why trade-off curve and opportunity cost is important. So one very logical thing is that whenever we are thinking about doing something, we always see that how we can provide the maximum value to the end user to the lowest code by increasing the productivity. So that becomes very, very important that wherever we are and whatever we are doing, we need to have some trade-off and we have to see that what cost we are paying so that we can decide that whether it is right for the consumer or not. So if I do a summary, when we talk about trade-off, it's primarily a comparison between two alternatives, say that whether this is right or that is right for me. Now, when we talk about opportunity costs, here we are talking about that whenever we are choosing any particular alternative, what is the cost that I'm going to lose to achieve the other things? So that's a key difference between opportunity cost and the trade-off. Very little difference, but very important to understand about trade-off curve and opportunity cost. Well, my next video will again about some differences. And there I'm going to talk about the key difference between scrap and salvage.
Regularly, I'm getting a lot of feedback from your side, and they're helping me to understand your expectations. So please do continue that. And in case you are liking these kind of videos and blogs, do share with your friends and colleagues. And you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and my website, bhavimanga.com. And in case you want to understand a little bit more about this particular video, you'll find a link below. If you click that, you'll find a blog here. And there you'll find this information much more detailed. Thank you.